experience so to all the non toastmasters who are in this meeting right now sit back and have a great time this meeting is going to be absolutely fabulous and also all the very best to all the role players let's have a great meeting over uh, to the presiding officer thank you thank you very director sivan toastmaster nadira so it's time that we introduce the toastmaster of the day so uh, this person he is working in uh, asian paints uh, he has uh, been a uh, vice president education of ctm and he is the uh, president elect for the next term so please help me invite toastmaster ranju to play the role of toastmaster of the day over to you toastmaster of the day thank you thank you presiding officer kumaravel for that wonderful introduction and i am very glad to join all of you today uh, for hosting this meeting as a toastmaster of the day and uh, all of us had found the time on a saturday to actually join a meeting that indeed is a great thing anybody is aware of what the theme is today we have already circulated i think the theme so uh, if anybody has uh, idea about the theme uh, can one of you share what the theme is about before i go into the theme it's united we stand yes so uh, toastmaster murugasamy uh, what do you think about the theme thank you uh, toastmaster pj if you do any work with unitedly the result will be in great success i can say one word yeah thank you very thank you thank you toastmaster murugasamy so the very indeed the testimony of taking this particular theme united we stand is because to commemorate such occasions where clubs come together and you know it is just a small example when two clubs come together to form a joint meeting now we learn a lot when we come together and form a joint meeting and learn but if you check about this small instance there are ha events happening like this at a global scale there are events happening where india usa australia and japan are coming together against a force which is actually creating a huge problem in this world so such unity in people and unity in the world is actually creating a lot of peace and a lot of discussions are happening around that so that is the theme which which uh, today's meeting is centered and that is why we have taken this th theme for today and i would like to love to hear views from all of you like while we proceed with this meeting but now let me go to the general evaluator for today it is toastmaster murugesh murugaswami he will be the general evaluator for today he has 18 years experience in the it industry and he has joined toastmasters from 2018 he has taken roles as vppr and vpe over to you toastmaster murugaswami for the ge intros yeah thank you for the uh, wonderful introduction toastmaster of the day good evening dear toastmaster guests and friends today i will be playing general evaluator role my duty is to monitor the meeting from start to end and to note down the positive and negative things happen throughout the meeting i cannot perform this task without my united team the united team is nothing but tag team let me call my tag team one by one first timer role when i asked the question he answered he is working as software engineer in applied material of applied material india for the past 15 years and his qualification is electrical engineer but he is working as software engineer please help me to welcome toastmaster lakshmi narayana to explain the timer script uh Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Muruleswami. It was a nice introduction. Uh, a well begun is often. Uh, this meeting started very well, and in order to have a very quality meeting and end on time, we need to ensure that every speaker maintains their timing, and we we uh, proceed with the meeting on time and complete the meeting on time. So, as a timer, my role is to remind all speakers how much time they spent on their speech. so that we will run this meeting on time and a complete a very quality meeting so as a timer i will note down the time taken by each speakers including prepared speeches table topic speeches and evaluations i'll also alert each speaker of the time they have left using the green 
yellow and red cards which i will share over the zoom meeting and which are the specific times remaining i will give the report at the end of the meeting when the generally elected as per it over to you toastmaster uh, murugu swami thank you toastmaster uh, lakshmi narayanan for your detailed uh, explanation in time script uh, next i will uh, call upon our counter role Uh, when i ask her uh, what is your uh, most interest in toastmaster club she replied passionate in improving my communication skills in toastmaster club please help me to welcome toastmaster geeta to play the all rounder role thank you toastmaster for the wonderful introduction good evening everybody today i am taking up the role of the all rounder so as an accounter my responsibility is to note down the overused words or filler sounds such as uh, uh, and um or uh, and uh, so you know i mean so all these sounds and words will be note, noted down by me and i will give a detailed report to you all when i'm called by the general evaluator over to you general evaluator thank you toastmaster geeta for your uh, accounter script Uh, next i will call upon english teacher nothing but grammarian when i ask him when and where you will get applied united team work and what is your thought about working unitedly he replied it is required wherever we are working as a team when we work as team we learn from every individual and flourish please help me to welcome postmaster satya to play grammarian role thank you general evaluator scintillating saturday everyone grammarian right so i can play with my words so instead of uh, a normal uh, good evening or something let me uh, you know break the jinx by saying scintillating saturday so let me introduce the word of the day as a word master uh, it is viga it's not vigor it's viga to be pronounced as viga okay uh, it means active strength of body or mind uh, example could be he plays cricket with great vigor and another example could be he is 70 years old still full of vigor and vitality in addition to that uh, as a grammarian i'll also make a note of new words expressions imageries colorful languages and creative usages something like similes metaphors alliterations in addition to that any cliche and something that we can improve on to for the overall quality of the meeting i'll make a note of everything and when called upon by the general evaluator i'll give my report and whenever someone uses the word of the day you can use the chat window to appreciate or just give a thumbs up like this thank you over to the general evaluator thank you toastmaster satya for the grammarian role yeah i thought agree i uh, today full up viga for my team hopefully they will submit wonderful report today i will submit my report on called upon like toastmaster bide thank you thank you toastmaster bide thank you thank you general evaluator for the round of introductions for all the tag team so i really believe that uh, tag team is the backbone of any meeting and uh, what really sets the standard of the meeting is the standard of the tag team and the reports so i am a firm believer of that and let's have this meeting with uh, good vigor today and uh, make it a really memorable one so uh, next up we have our uh, joke master for today so our joke master for today is toastmaster kumravel so toastmaster kumravel has 14 years experience in it and he has been a toastmaster since uh, 2018 and has been an active role in uh, vice president education and vice president public relations as well over to you toastmaster kumravel for the joke of the day thank you toastmaster of the day toastmaster ranju i had a habit of saying good morning when i meet someone my mentor who plays with words with vigor so he he said kumaravel try using different words it's a cliche the next day i told my wife scintillating morning honey i'm worried that mixi is not working for you it's fantastic morning she raised her voice i raised my voice too hey what the hell you are thinking i asked the mixi but no response suddenly my wife got a call from her friend hey last week me and my husband went to the monster movie i was waiting for her to complete this important call 
and then i said honey in your conversation you said me and my husband you should say my husband and i oh you mean to say men are more powerful so i should use the word my husband first this is gender discrimination no ma this is not gender discrimination this is grammar tell me how will you say this uh, monster and i went to the monster movie thinking that i am talking in mind voice i told the truth she got angry and stopped talking to me i was not worried much but she shared the information to her family it's been one week i feel like a fish out of water because my wife's younger sister stopped talking to me see you won't be much concerned if your machi is not talking but you will be very much concerned if your machinichi is not talking my dear friends you may be a toast master or karate master or porota master ensure that when you are entering the home you are you are not applying your toast master skills over to you toast master ranju wow uh-huh. thank you toast master kumaroel for that uh, wonderful <laughs> round of humor so um next up we have our quote master for today so our quote master of today is a person who doesn't need introductions and uh, she is none other than the area director of our c1 and she is toastmaster nadira she has been an active member in chennai toastmasters and has taken the roles of vice president education and president as well and has been a vibrant and uh, constant guidance for all of our clubs over to you toastmaster nadira for the quote of the day Thank you so much Toastmaster of the day. Good evening fellow Toastmasters and respected guests. The world that we live in can either be categorized as good or bad based on the way we based on the vigor with which we judge whatever happens around us. Let me take you all on a short story, a story of a white rose. A beautiful garden with so many weeds, grass, trees and amongst all of that there was a beautiful rose right there a white rose with petals as soft as velvet with dew drops on the petal sliding straight off shimmering and glistening like diamonds this beautiful white rose stood apart from everything in that garden but this be- beautiful rose thought that she did not w- no one wanted her she was not wanted because of the thorns which she had people would try to pluck and every time they would be left hurt and they would run past so after a point she slowly started wilting a lady looking at this beautiful rose but slightly wilting she decided she's going to repot this she's going to replant this into a pot she took this pot and she placed it strategically next to a window after a few days there was a beautiful change which was seen when the rose saw her own reflection in that window she realized that she's got so much more to this and she's so beautiful and so many people would come to that window stop and look at her and admire her my dear fellow toast masters why am i telling you this story compare yourself to that rose there are so many times when we put ourselves in a place where we judge and we critique on ourselves so hard that we don't see the good that we hold in ourselves we see all the small thorns that hurt us So my dear fellow toastmasters the quote for today given by Anais Nin is we don't see things as they are we see them as the way we do over to you toastmaster of the day thank you uh, thank you for that uh, wordings we don't see things as they are we just see it as we want to so it basically i i felt that it's more like more of our biases come into play and uh, based on our past beliefs many of the things which may get changed the way we interpret it so thank you thank you toastmaster nadira for that wonderful quote so uh, coming back to the theme so the theme is uh, like unity so is there any other place wherein uh, we have found that uh, this theme comes into play suppose uh, like i can share one example from my organization actually so i work in a department which uh, handles production so we have uh, like a team which handles this various situations but when whenever some situation happens and somebody is coming against our department 
all of us come together and deal with it together even though it is one person's issue so like that there are multiple cases where you know when we come together we really get that strength and each of us can impart strength to each other and that is really the power of coming together and unity where anywhere it it applies it applies to a family it applies on a global level it applies at various various places I, so if anybody wants to share any of the their personal uh, notes or any situations which you want to share in your related to theme you can you can always uh, you know uh, like raise your hand or you know come on mic i would i would give that opportunity so with this let me go to the main uh, session of today it is the prepared speeches session uh so it is basically why uh, we all come here we all come here to learn to prepare, to speech to prepare the speech and present before audience and get a proper feedback for that and we improve constantly so today's uh, we have two wonderful prepared speeches for today and the first prepared speaker is toastmaster sita so toast talking about toastmaster sita he is having 11 years experience in it and he is working as a java developer in one of the us client and he is a new member in the toastmasters club so before calling upon toastmaster sita let me call upon his evaluator his evaluator is toastmaster rekha over to you toastmaster rekha ma'am for uh, the objectives of the speech thank you toastmaster ranju uh, so toastmaster sita is going to deliver uh, the uh, the in, the first speech in his like start his journey in the uh, speech uh, part of um, toastmasters club uh, his the purpose of the speech is to uh, for the member to introduce himself to the club and learn the basic structure of public speaking so i wish all the very best to toastmaster sita back to you toastmaster ranjit thank you thank you uh, evaluate for that so over to you toastmaster sita my childhood story my childhood story toastmaster sita thanks uh, toastmaster ranju for the warm welcome good evening toastmasters and guests i am sitananda born and brought up in pondicherry a unique territory in india the most beautiful place in this earth like other children i also forced to go to school at the age of 3 my mom put me in the kindergarten but once she dropped me in the school i returned along with her without knowing her and settled at home my grandma didn't like my habit she asked me what problem with you why are you not going to school why are you returned back immediately i said my cousin brother guna is studying in a different school i want to go to school along with him she agreed she arranged the opportunity and she did all the joining formality in the new school but they put me in lkg where gunai is studying in ukg whenever the teacher turned into the blackboard i ran into gunai's desk and sit next to him but ukg syllabus is hard for me to understand i return back to lkg class itself then what happened things are going like this uh, but we i got a very good company we both go to school at the same time and return to home at the same time i enjoyed gunas company i usually pay my fees regularly my school is a different school if you pay your monthly fees regularly they will promote you to the next like that 8 years they promoted me even though i am a dull student i passed in all the class unfortunately guna failed in 9th standard and we both met in the same class again then what happened there is a new teammate govind joined along with me and guna govind home is 5 km away from my home one day he invited guna and me to his home we went to his home he took me and guna to the nearby coconut tree farm where we still all the tender cook and drink as much as sometime if you don't like that uh, sweetness in the water we will wash our face in it at the same time we while returning from the farm we plucked many cashew seeds and fruits the farmer catched all the all the three 
farmer asked, what's carrying in your bag? Then I replied, nothing, nothing. They saw the bag is full of cashew nuts and fruits. The farmer asked, please give me the cashew nuts and take the fruits if you want. I agree the deal. I gave the cashew nuts and take the fruits. Anjali movie was released. I want to saw this movie the first day, first day itself. But we don't have any money to watch this movie. There is a big basket in our classroom. They will put all the old answers paper. We put all these answer papers and put it in the old paper mat. And we got some money out of it. We watched that movie along with Una and Toby. I was dull and I scored very less mark. My father didn't like this. My father asked me, hey, what's the problem? Why are you not performing well in the exam? If you pass, I will buy a good TV for you. Why are you watching the television all the time? That too in your neighbor's home. Every Sunday, I'll go to my neighbor's home and watch Yegdok Tincha, Donald Duck, He-Man, Ramayan, then I'll return to home, one o'clock. My father don't like my habit. He, he asked me, if you pass 10th standard with good mark, I will give you the TV. Big target started for me. I started buying a guide for all the subjects. I bought tendril guide instead of Konar because Konar is very difficult to follow. But Max, even the guide didn't help me. I immediately approached the tuition master. After he examined my full skill set, tuition master advised me, Uta, if you want to clear the Max, you need to concentrate only four chapters, not all the nine chapters. Take all the four, concentrate all the four chapters and take the important questions in the other chapters. I faced the 10th exam with my master advice, wrote and completed the exam. When the result was announced, I went to Malay Malar news agency to see my number. I bought the newspaper and searched my number. Kura, myself, passed 10th standard. I bought a Onida color team. My father gifted me a Onida color team. Owners, pride, neighbors, envy. Over to you, Toastmasters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sita, for the wonderful speech. And it really took me back to my childhood days where uh, we go to the school and uh, the various situations that happen in school. Thank you. So next up, we have our second speaker of the day. The second speaker is Toastmaster Vratika from Chennai Toastmasters. She is doing her level one, project three in research and presentation. So before I call upon Toastmaster Vratika, let me call upon her evaluator, Toastmaster Mohan from DXC Toastmasters. Toastmaster Mohan, over to you. Uh, uh, Toastmaster Mohan, actually you are not audible. Can you unmute yourself? Uh, sorry, I was uh, speaking in mute. Yeah. And, uh... Very good evening, dear Toastmasters and friends. And my sp special good evening to my target speaker. Uh, today, the speaker to uh, the purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. My best wishes for my target speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohan, for the objectives of the speech. Now, Toastmaster Vratika is working as in a software field. And she has been in Chennai Toastmasters for a while and is the treasurer elect and has competed for treasurer in the upcoming Toastmasters. And uh, her speech title is, Can All the Coins Be Toast? Can All the Toins be, Coins Be Toast? Toastmaster Vratika, over to you.
टोस्ट मास्टर व्रतिका हेलो Vratika is still not audible. Toast master Vratika, you are on mute. Could you unmute yourself? No. Ratika, we are unable to hear you properly. Um, do you want to simultaneously log in through your mobile and have the audio through that? No, Ratika, we are not able to hear you. I think there is some issue. can we come back to the this speech after the table topics if you don't mind yeah so uh, next up we will move to our table topic session by the time uh, we uh, like get the network connection ready so the table topic session today will be handled by our future vice president elect toastmaster abilash so whenever uh, like abilash takes up a role he ensures that it is done in the most unique way and people remember that for a long time so i am waiting for something uh, of the similar sort over to you toastmaster abilash for the tt session hi everyone good evening so it's a scintillating saturday and it's now time for us to conduct the table topic session with a lot of vigor so is everyone ready for a scintillating table topic session today so uh, before we start i'll just like to brief you on a few ground rules uh, so the table topic session is open to everyone including toastmasters and guests you will be given a topic on the spot to speak from and the timing will be thus you will be given a time of 1 to 2 minutes to speak on the topic at 1 minute the timer will be displaying the green card at a minute and a half the timer will be displaying the yellow card and when it is 2 minutes the timer will be displaying the red card you will be given an additional 30 seconds time to complete your speech beyond which you will be disqualified for voting and with that shall we just drop right in uh abilash sorry to interrupt uh, have you found uh, the uh, tt evaluator for odd or uh... okay uh, one minute, have... one minute. Yeah, we need to find the TT evaluator, right? Otherwise, Kumaravel uh, is ready to take up. Sure. Kumaravel. Yeah, I'll uh, take up TT evaluation for odd. Odd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will take even. Great. Thank you. So. Uh, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Master uh, Kumaravel, for helping me out. So now let's launch right into the table topics. So, so yeah. So uh, first up, let's have uh, Toastmaster Abhirami Ayappan. Yeah. Hi, Toastmaster Abhilash. Hi, Toastmaster Abhirami. So the topic that I'm going to give you is a reflective one. So here comes the topic. The topic is. is stealing to feed a starving child right or wrong i repeat again is stealing to feed a starving child right or wrong thank you toastmaster abhilash good evening fellow toastmasters and esteemed guests this seems to be a very big question it's like a question behind the, the existence of life 
is stealing uh, to feed uh, to stealing to feed a small child is it right or not that's the topic right yeah okay so when we look at stealing uh, looking at a bigger perspective of things i think all of us are at the end of the day stealing from someone or the other so everything that we do whether the way we use nature the way we build houses you know remove the trees and uh, use all the nutrition whatever we do almost amounts to stealing in some way or the other but again even in that there is rules in stealing even when people go and steal they have the rules of uh, doing anything just like in toastmaster we have the rules uh, which is taken care by the tag team or the evaluation piece similarly even in stealing there are some ground rules to be followed i guess so depending on for what you steal according to that you can maybe justify uh, the act of it uh, maybe for stealing uh, to feed a small one i think it's okay again it depends on the situation it's very hypothetical maybe sometimes you go up and ask the person that i want to feed a little one they would be ready to help so again it depends on the instance but yeah so it depends ultimately thank you over to you toastmaster abhilash thank you toastmaster abhilami next up uh, uh, can we have uh, distinguished toastmaster gayatri Yes, yeah, sure, uh, Abhilash. I'll turn on my video. Just give me a minute. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm ready. Great. So, the topic that I have for you is: if you wish to teach us all something right now, here in two minutes, what is it going to be, and what are you going to do? first of all i i don't think uh, um i mean i have something to teach all of you uh, because uh, teaching is different and learning is different because uh, teacher can teach uh, whatever the teacher can think of but for a learner to understand and uh, take it the learner has to be in the mood and uh, it is all about their perception but uh, if i want to teach something to someone uh, not a uh, uh, table topic i have always thought if there is one thing that i could teach uh, people if i have that power what would i want to teach like for example if i want to teach one thing to my daughter what is it that i want to teach her uh, uh, the answer that i uh, found convincing was that uh, i want them to realize that uh, whatever they want they can do it and uh, only they can do it so if you want to learn something you have everything in this world uh, uh, to help you do that and uh, most importantly only you can do that it's not about a teacher or a mentor or a coach or somebody coming and intervening and teaching you something that's a second part all that will happen only if you are in a mood to learn so the one thing that i taught my daughter was to read from books the habit of reading is what i inculcated to her uh, rest everything i leave it to her now it is up to her to read whatever she wants to read to learn whatever she wants to learn out of it and then do whatever she wants to do out of it so similarly uh, one thing if i want to teach you all uh, is uh, that if you want to learn something then you have to teach yourself you have lot of tools a teacher mentor books video audio all those are just tools Uh, ultimately whatever you want to learn is something that only you can do so whatever you want to learn uh, you can go ahead and learn uh, you have the ability uh, so enjoy learning and uh, uh, widen your wisdom over to the table topic master thank you for turning the question into an answer and answer into a question lovely now uh, moving on uh, the third speaker that i would like to call upon is uh, distinguished toastmaster nina john Yes, uh, everything's on. Yes, sir. Uh, so good evening. Uh, so now, uh, while I do bear a grudge that you are able to give us a slice of Christmas cake, uh, the topic that I am going to have for you, that I have for you, is related to this. Please tell us all about a unique tradition that you follow for Christmas. Can I tell you about a school tradition that I had rather than a current tradition because it's gone out of all these half the traditions have gone out of the window. Uh, this is uh, when we were in school. 
uh, we had this tradition that you know our, our gang, so to speak, would gather together on Christmas Eve at my place. We would have dinner together, and uh, all of us would get into this. Uh, my dad had this nice roomy ambassador car where all of us would just uh, stuff ourselves into that car and go attend Christmas uh, mass, midnight, cold, wintry Pune air, and uh, enjoy all the Christmas festivities, all the food with so much uh, vim and vigor and vitality that like we'd be stuffed by the time we came back. And then after it was over, this friend of mine who belonged to one of those royal families, her father used to apparently love roast turkey and stuffed turkey. So they would order, order that from someone who her place in Pune. And the tradition was after celebrating Christmas in my place, we would go to my friend's place, who was not a Christian, by the way, thoroughly stuff ourselves on the roast turkey over there. And then same thing would happen in reverse for Diwali. So those are the childhood traditions that I truly treasure and miss because now uh, uh, there was another tradition that we used to have, which is uh, exchanging uh, sweets, sending sweets to the neighbors. And uh, when the neighbors moved out, we'd go chasing them, finding out the way the house is. And as usual, leave the plate over there, forget it, collect it the next Christmas, that kind of thing. Now, no neighbors, no sweets, very few just fond memories left of traditions of Christmas and Diwali and other festivities and other festivals gone by. Back to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you, Sigwistro, Distinguished Toastmaster Nina. Next up, we have a surprise. It is generally said that, you know, we don't call the tag team, but today I have the liberty to call in the tag team for a table topic as well. And who better to call than our word master, school teacher, uh, sorry, English teacher, etc., etc., for the day. Toastmaster Satya. Oh my God, yeah. Hi, Abhilash. Hi, uh, good evening, Toastmaster Satya. So the topic that I have for you is, you take a sick leave from office. You take a sick leave from office to go to a cricket match. And you find that your boss is there at the stadium next to you as well. How are you going to react to this? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Abhilash. So I, so I playing it. Uh, so in sim, my manager in this ground, it's very difficult to want to manage. Anyhow, you know, we have to manage that because because uh, then only we can continue to our work, right? So I can how I can manage is so I I try to. Tell them so in the scenario of uh, so I am not to I am plan to take the leave for in this day. So my friends are very uh, and uh, very enthusiastic watching this uh, cricket game. So they they have bought around a six thousand rupees ticket in this uh, VIP. So they unfortunately one of friend is not participate uh, not uh, joined to the. So uh, unluckily, I am luckily I am get the chance to uh, attend this uh, participate in this cricket match. So that is reasons I came and uh, seen the match. Uh, and it is not it's it's happened for coincidence only. It's not any planned systems. Uh, please try to understand to this situation. Anyhow, this match is wonderful. So. Uh, so we you consider it uh, for it take any uh, negative opinion for for me. Thank you. Over to you, TT Master. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Satyaraj. Up next, let's have our grammarian Toastmaster Satya Jairaman. Yeah, I will. Yes. So uh, the topic that I have, I have for you today is you are the author of a book titled. How to Raise Your IQ by Eating. I repeat, you are the author of a book titled How to Raise Your IQ by Eating. In the next two minutes, you are going to sell this book to us. Why we should buy this book? See, nobody in this world will help you all the time. There was one person who assisted me by helping 
answering my boss by picking up the earlier topic but for sell this own book which i have written i will have to persuade you now there are so many myths and there are so many truth in this world uh, for very strange reasons we tend to get confused between these two for example uh, there is a saying that says uh, if you go with the like of children then you can teach them anything in the way we if you go with them you can teach them anything they would also love it but there is nothing in this world that has proven it scientists are definitely you know against that thought that it's a myth actually it's not a truth it is not a proven thing a lot of parents also believe in that if you go and adapt to their style of uh, thing then you can definitely teach them likewise left brain and right brain people uh, you know often get uh, surrounded by this truth it is not a truth it is a myth actually it is nothing been proved now same comes to the iq as well now just in case you are wondering how it is possible by just reading uh, 300 pages of a book is it really it will really make me to improve my iq or not is that thought coming into your mind having said all the myths and a few of the facts that i stated yes no if it is yes then you got to turn first 100 pages of my book and distinguish yourself why it is important to develop your iq being in toastmasters being a good public speaker if you are not having a good iq you will not be able to grab things faster now i have first 100 pages i have put in my experience how i have faced it the next 100 pages i have put in all the experience that i have come across from all the toastmasters and the lovely people that i have met in my life and the final 100 i am going to give you some hints on how you can develop goals first week first month and the subsequent weeks how you can develop your iq and when i have shared this uh, proof of concept with some one of my friends before publishing this book he was taken aback and his iq improved a lot so that triggered me to publish this book and i want everyone to get benefited out of it now as a first thing i am releasing this unveiling this book in front of all these lovely people here who have gathered on saturday uh, evening time and as a first uh, publication i am going to give it this to toastmaster abilash so abilash read my book 300 pages i know you can complete it before the next week and then circulate it to all others and if you like it you can also order it through amazon it's available as well enjoy reading great thank you to smart sir yeah i will read it with vigor and also eat my food with vigor so let's see what happens now uh, moving on next up uh, can i have toastmaster shrikant putikrishna good afternoon abilash good afternoon toastmaster shrikant putikrishna the topic that i have for you is today is you have called a customer service helpline because there is some problem in your phone i repeat you have called a customer service helpline because there is some problem in your phone an automated voice comes saying your call is important to us please stay and our representative will be with you shortly and the representative okay. actually comes to you after half an hour what is going to okay. be your reaction to this and why yeah good afternoon everybody to call a helpline number for my phone which is having some problem which is within the warranty period i have to be really smart with that because i need to get my phone repaired without paying any additional cost so here what i would do is i would show some kind of a patience to get to the customer service executive and tell him or her what the problem is rather than losing my cool and then going bombastic with that executive that's not serve the purpose that i am looking for so what my intention is to get my phone repaired without any issue and towards the end most of the customer service helpline numbers once the call is over they will put you on to a survey where you can rate your conversation with the executive that you had just spoken that is where i would show my concern and disappointment how that particular person who made me wait for 30 minutes and that with an automated voice and finally came online my anxiety and my annoyance towards this will be reflected only at the time when i am put on a automated call 
towards the end and where i have to give my feedback before that no way because i have everything to lose the company has nothing to lose they have already sold the product i need to get my money worth what may come i will wait i will not be disappointed to show my anger but within me i am definitely disappointed but i'll make it a point i put across my concern to the highest level and explain my complaint this is my point of view as far as attending to my problem is concerned with any product or service that i'm looking forward to have which is within my right even beyond that if i feel that i am not being obliged i might think about lodging a complaint with a consumer redress forum that would be the last to resort and never again would i buy that product nor recommend this product to anyone that i know and anyone who's interested to buy that product that's it from me back to you thank you uh, thank you toastmaster shrikan next up can we have toastmaster muruga sami hi abhi hi hi toastmaster muruga sami so the question that i have for you is a fairly simple one the topic that i have for you please tell us what your new year resolution is going to be and how you are going to achieve it okay uh, thank you uh, toastmaster ables uh, for new year i have lot of resolution with me so uh, i elected vp education for the next time so i started so what i am going to achieve next year already started <coughs> i am asking uh, in our team member next uh, next six months what are the role you are going to take so i have planned so each and every week i made proper setup i am requesting everyone to update uh, to make uh, great success in uh, next next six months meeting so all meeting i will try to complete in, uh, in proper time and uh, my <coughs> dxc chennai team i will take you to the next level so that uh, it will be in top and everyone will follow so what i am going to uh, achieve so based on my way so everyone will follow to achieve the same kind of things and uh, th- that is uh, one of my resolution uh, in coming to the uh, toastmaster club and also i have plan in mind so i will try to make more join meeting like united join meeting so where we will get opportunity to interact from outside people also we can get knowledge from outside of how they are delivering their speeches how they are interacting with the every roles so we will try to get the details so we try to implement so each together we can share the knowledge and we will make great successful meeting so it will be helpful each and every one who are coming to the autosmos club so the autosmos will uh, uh, club will not never end so people will keep on coming to join and get the things and they will live happily that's it thank you uh, back to you toastmaster bless thank you uh, toastmaster muruga sami next can we have uh, guest prashanti it's a bless hi good evening prashanti so the Hello. topic that i am going to have for you is a fairly simple one okay okay so i just want you to tell us a day or a week before or anything you know what made you an incident that made you smile or laugh in this week yeah, i mean it can be any incident so tell us an incident which made you smile or laugh okay i will try to explain uh, when i was going to college uh, the road was very slow it was like very slow and uh, from back side one bicycle was coming and i was uh, walking like uh, differently uh, not in a straight way i was walking for left side right side left side right side i was i was moving so from back side one bicycle was coming i didn't give the route to that person so uh, he, he came and he fell down in that drainage suddenly and i i started laughing till i was going to college and uh, i stopped to uh, go in that route uh, completely for one month i i started going in a different route 
so uh, so i scared because he looked at me like angry way so i felt like he might he might scold me but he didn't scold because i was a girl <laughs> i'm a girl so he didn't do, he, he didn't say anything but but that incident made me to smile uh, not only in that uh, time uh, every time it made me to smile thank you thank you thank you prashanti great attempt thank you wow let me call upon the next speaker for today it is going to be postmaster kumaravel hi postmaster plus hi postmaster kumaravel so the uh, topic that i'm going to have is if we are in a postmasters meeting so it's time to you know actually have an issue that we all face so it so happens that one day before the meeting you find that all your all your role players and speakers have backed out what are you going to do okay thank you uh, table topic master toast master blush yeah so especially during uh, festival sessions uh, this is what happens uh, people don't pick up roles or uh, the people who have uh, taken up the role they drop out uh, so what we uh, normally do uh, we try to Uh, have it like uh, we can have a table topic uh, marathon so if we don't have uh, much uh, prepared speakers so uh, as a leader we will uh, have to ensure that uh, meeting runs on time especially from the club that uh, that is having a legacy like we never missed any meeting so we don't have a option of uh, skipping the meeting anyway so what i'll do i'll uh, whoever available in that uh, meeting so we'll try to have a table topic marathon uh, by just having a Uh, a tt master and a presiding officer and all other guest uh, and other remaining part participant can be uh, the t table topic speakers and if there are some other senior person is there then we'll go with the table topic evaluation so that way what we'll do will uh, the guest will feel happy that uh, their uh, speech is being evaluated so that will be nice uh, yeah so uh, so that uh, the senior members uh, will benefit that they have attended the meeting and they have provided a positive feedback to the new guest and the guest also will feel good so this is what we do when uh, we are uh, when the role players are backing out over to you toastmaster vilash thank you uh, thank you for that wonderful uh, topic uh, for the wonderful uh, speech toastmaster kumaravel and so i believe uh, with this we have to come to an end of the uh, tt session Thank you, everyone, for a great session. I now hand over the proceedings back to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ranju. But sorry, before that uh, timer, could you please uh, read out the names of those people uh, who are qualified today? Uh, thank you, Toastmaster uh, Abhilash. I'll just read out the uh, qualified table uh, table topic uh, speakers. It's. Uh, do you want me to give the timing as well? No, no, no. Topic? Just the just the qualifications. Okay. uh the qualified table topic speakers are toastmaster abirami toastmaster gayatri dtm nina jain uh, uh, toastmaster satyaraj toastmaster shrikant kutikrishnan toastmaster murugaswami guest prashanti and toastmaster kumaravel over to you thank you all. timer over to you toastmaster of the day toastmaster thank you thank you toastmaster abhilash for the wonderful uh, tt session uh, like many topics i was people were actually uh, like when you were telling ki uh, i'll be giving you a easier topic this time and they were like uh, what is what is going to happen now so it was it was nice and a lot of interesting topics as well it was really a refresher for us thank you thank you toastmaster abhilash so now we'll go back to the one prepared speech that uh, we uh, have so the prepared speech is going to be delivered by toastmaster vratika so we have already had the objectives given by our uh, evaluator so vratika could you unmute yourself uh am i audible yes yes you are audible great great i'm i apologize for the internet connectivity issue last yeah. time just Let give me a minute so uh, toastmaster vratika can all coins be toast can all coins be toast toast master pratika over to you uh thank you so much toast master of the day may i ask if my screen is visible great yes let me start by asking all of you an interesting question 
which is my speech title as well can all coins be tossed um can you name a coin which can be used as a currency obviously but can never be tossed can somebody from the audience guess you can unmute yourself a coin which can be used as a currency but can never be tossed bitcoin good deal bitcoin 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 exactly thank you so much today we are going to know more about bitcoins so what exactly is a bitcoin all of us know that it is a cryptocurrency obviously but don't be fooled by shiny images of stock stock coins bitcoin is actually a software as it is a cryptocurrency it is completely a digital phenomena and it is a set of protocols and processes it is completely digital bitcoin and blockchain all of us have heard both of these terms quite a few times right um is there any difference between the two or are they same let's find out bitcoin is a digital currency a decentralized system which records transactions in a distributed ledger called a blockchain now we have three important words to understand first is decentralized what does it mean to be decentralized it means that bitcoin transactions can take place peer to peer there is no need of a third party for example mm -hmm. banks second ledger a ledger is a list of all the bitcoin transactions distributed distributed means that it is a public document anybody can view it for example uh, just like wikipedia anybody can view this distributed ledger now that we know that blockchain is a distributed ledger that is it is a uh, it is a list of the transactions which is publicly available let us look at an example of a blockchain entry it is as simple as a sent x bitcoins to b who sent y bitcoins to c an important thing to note here is that it is not necessary that the transactions need to be done between humans only they could be cars as well um it creates vast possibilities for internet of things even cars can have their own blockchain wallets this is a simple example of a blockchain entry consider these two addresses as a and b so a sent these many bitcoins to b on august 14th between this time if someone tells you that he or she owns a bitcoin what do they actually have they have three things they have a public username or a public key which is this address they have a private key also known as a password third they have a set of qr codes these qr codes are actually very important you need to preserve them if you lose any of these qr codes your bitcoins are lost now that we know what are bitcoins what is a blockchain let us take a step back and let us know about the history of bitcoin who invented bitcoin actually it is quite surprising that nobody knows satoshi nakamoto is associated with the person or a group of people who originally released the bitcoin white paper in 2008 and later on in 2009 they released the first bitcoin software in the years past that a lot of people have claimed to be or uh, have been suggested to be the person behind this pseudonym that is satoshi nakamoto but as of now the true identity or identities behind satoshi is obscure so this comes now we come to a question that what is uh, why is satoshi anonymous you know this person could have been famous this for person could have received a nobel prize as well why did he choose to 
uh, not to reveal his or her name. There are two important aspects. First is privacy. As Bitcoin is gaining a lot of uh, popularity, Satoshi could have rendered a lot of um, a lot of attention from the media, which is fine. But they could also have gained a lot of attention from the government as well, which is troublesome. We know that uh, Bitcoin has enough potential to threaten the current uh, current banking and monetary systems. It it has a threat. It poses a threat to the current sovereign fiat currencies of the nations. So in this way, governments would get motivated to uh, to uh, to to pose a, uh, to take actions against the bitcoins creator which might be of great issue so now that we come to an end of this presentation uh, let me tell you some fun facts about bitcoins the first bitcoin was used to buy uh, would anybody like to guess uh, why how was it used first why was it used anyone great great thank you puneet thank you toastmaster puneet you are absolutely right the first bitcoin was used to buy a pizza also there will only be 21 million bitcoins 16.3 million are already being traded and the last bitcoin will be traded in 2140 so we need to remember that the supply of bitcoins is finite. So I could provide only a superficial knowledge about bitcoins in this short presentation. But if somebody wants to dig deeper, I have, a, I have found a video on YouTube which beautifully explains this process and this idea. Also, uh, you could go to a website called Investopedia. It has a, a great article which elucidates this topic vividly. So thank you so much, everyone. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Vratika, for that wonderful speech. Actually, uh, about the mysterious Bitcoin, many of us actually uh, like had to get some light on this. I have read some articles in which people have like uh, sold their entire uh, lifetime of savings to buy Bitcoins, and they settled in some cottages or stuff like that. So, like, quite uh, intriguing thing. Thank you. So, um, so we have done with our prepared speeches and table topic session. And in the agenda is written, there is an impromptu session. So, do anybody wants to guess what is this uh, surprise impromptu session? Yeah, I can see people coming on video when they hear surprise impromptu session. That's a good sign. So does anybody wants to uh, share or like, or uh, have any thoughts? Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and reveal it myself. So it's going to be a small, uh, fun debate. Anybody like debate, everybody? You can unmute yourself. This is a small crowd. So I don't think uh, there'll be a huge uh, ruckus. Yeah, so um, uh, so somebody had just uh, muted me. So it's going to be a fun debate for today. And uh, I need some volunteers from the audience. Can somebody uh, volunteer for this? It's before I reveal the topic. Like uh, there are some occasions in which we reveal the topic and then people come forward. Yeah, thank you, guest Iqbal, yeah. So we have uh, one volunteer. Anybody else? Okay. Abhilash is volunteered. Yeah, you can just raise your hands and I will note down. Um, Rika. Nina, Nina ma'am and uh, uh, Bala Murugan. Yeah. But yeah, we've got all CTMs of uh, meeting for DXC. Yeah, yeah. So DXC, correct. The DXC you can reduce. Satya to the rescue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, 
four four people okay uh, uh sorry I, I, i'll Pranjit. drop out if the others uh, yeah i have no problem get p, uh, three each from dxc and the thing i'll drop out no problem so we have balamurgan and satya from dxc anybody else would like to one more person on dxc yeah yeah murugaswami sir is murugaswami sir is also there okay uh, ranju this this lakshmi narayan here sorry yeah Hi, ranju this yes. lakshmi narayan here i just want to clarify the the time the time limit for it is 10 minutes right yeah it uh, so yeah the moment i start the debate it will be 10 minutes yes okay so we have uh, like toastmaster satya and toastmaster muruga swami and toastmaster balamurgan from uh, dxc and we have guest ikbal toastmaster srikant kutikrishnan and toastmaster rekha from uh, ctm is that okay yeah so uh, the topic for today is so we all have been living in a covid 19 situation for some time now like uh, starting from uh, early jan uh, till now and uh, there have been lot of uh, emphasis in uh, like not meeting together or not coming in person to avoid crowds and lot of lot of such uh, things so this has been this question or this particular statement has been going on in my mind for some time now and i'm presenting before you this topic the pandemic has taken a toll on our personal relationships and friendships so the statement is the pandemic has taken a toll on our personal relationships and friendships so uh team dxc you want to go for uh, like speak for the topic or against so is there any clarity required in the topic speakers uh, told you be uh, mean to say it affected right yeah. yes impacted yeah yeah ranju can you put it on the chat box please yes sure so from dxc side we want to go for the uh, topic sure sure so we will have a uh, uh, timer can we'll have uh, can we can we have the timer yeah so we will have uh, one minute per speaker so first we will have a dx one person from dxc for one minute and the person will uh, like stop after a minute and mm -hmm. 30 seconds grace period will be there and then ctm's one first speaker will be there and uh, followed by dxc and ctm okay like that two people can talk in the first round and in the second round the third person who has not spoken will be concluding from both sides that's how this debate will work it's a short debate so you can name uh, who will come in which order which would come first from uh, dxc yeah i will i will start okay toastmaster satya from dxc will start uh, uh, balamurgan that is toastmaster okay toastmaster balamurgan okay so uh, from ctm who would be starting or uh, guest ikbal yeah yeah ikbal rekha ma'am and myself okay, okay. i will conclude okay so uh, rekha ma'am will start and followed by guest ikbal from ctm side and uh, balamurgan will start from dxc followed by murugo swami murugo swami and Murugoswami. final satya can conclude yeah satya would conclude okay so timer uh, is it is that okay uh, the timing is it clear i think uh, ranju like um, um, uh, toastmaster lakshmi narayan is not able to share his screen to display the timer Okay, no uh, issues. I will I will take care of that. the timing. Okay. I think his uh, sharing yeah. has been disabled. No, I think okay. I, no, I think I can share it now. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Lakshmi. Like, yeah. Uh, no, it was discussed that for uh, Ratika's speech. Uh, they disabled. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, Toastmaster Lakshmi. So we will have one minute per speaker from each side for two speakers, and then we will have the final round. So first up, the pandemic has taken a toll. on our personal relationships and friendships the first speaker who will speak for the topic from the dxc side toastmaster bal bal balamurgan yes please go ahead yeah thank you uh, moderator for the for this opportunity yeah i agree that uh, the uh, pandemic has re really taken a toll on our uh, personal uh, relationship uh, 
and uh, um, especially uh, in in my family uh, uh, personally i felt uh, not only myself uh, and my wife and my kid also uh, facing that problem because we are not uh, used to uh, this digital thing uh, we seeing uh, the friends or uh, family members who are away, away from our uh, home uh, and city uh, we used to go to uh, their uh, their, uh, their uh, visit their home uh, that that is what we got used to but uh, due to this pandemic we are uh, locked down um, uh, inside our home that's giving uh, adding uh, extra uh, stress on top of our day to uh, day to day uh, work uh, you uh, in past before uh, covid uh, uh, I, I used to work uh, around eight to nine hours, but I never faced any stress. But uh, these days, uh, even uh, I, if I work four hours, four hours to five hours uh, in, at home, uh, by locking myself inside home, I, I see lots of stress because I'm not meeting my friends. I'm not seeing uh, my uh, family members who are away uh, uh, from home. The same, my fam- uh, my wife is also uh, facing so that uh, there, there are lots of uh, fights happening in inside a uh, home and the, the same feeling for my uh, daughter also uh, she just uh, raising uh, she is only 3 years old uh, but she, she sees everything digitally uh, in admission school admission uh, she is going to start a digital uh, first class uh, lkg itself so that's very worst thing that happens uh, in this uh, due to covid yeah back to you uh, moderator thank you to master balamurgan for the first round from the fourth session. Now we'll have uh, this first speaker from uh, TTM side who will be speaking against the topic. Toastmaster Rekha, over to you. Yeah, thank you very much Toastmaster Ranju. See, this pandemic is a situation, right? When you are going to handle a situation, you need to see whether is it under my control, like whether you are going to go under the control of the situation or you're going to bring the situation under your control. Yes, definitely. I understand like what Bala Morgan is telling where he had or most of us had challenges in meeting our friends, relatives and everyone. But how can we look at the same situation in a different way? Did you ever sit with your family for more than two days? Did you ever share? the space or was with your family now almost seven to eight months you are there with the family instead of uh, like finding falls and uh, fighting can you turn the situation a different way where you like uh, like man of the family can help the women in the family by cooking or helping in the household work and again there is a mutual discussion of the situation and the kids are really are like enjoying the company of the parents how you can see the situation how you can handle is absolutely in your hand see i would say share my own experience yes it was difficult i was not able to visit my friends but distance never restricted the relationship relationship is not about speaking every day or meeting every day technology has grown we have used technology to our advantage where like we can connect to our friends Recently, when I spoke to a friend of mine, she said her 80-year-old grandma bought an Android and she learned how to use WhatsApp, video calls and all those things. So I would say things are there, how you utilize is more important. And I always took my relationship for granted. Like I never gave priority to meet them on specific days, even though my parents house is only like three, four kilometers away from my house. Like earlier, I used to visit once a month. But now after the pandemic, I really understood the the value of relationship because we we can never predict whether we will be there in the next week or the next year so the importance has grown i would say situation is there how you handle it for your advantage or not is is up to you i would say take it for your advantage see how you can utilize the situation and move on i would actually say personally this pandemic has been an advantage for me to value my relationship around me and to learn the technology and explore the te- technology. Back to you, Toastmaster Ranju. Thank you, Toastmaster Rekha, for that uh, different view of the same topic. So next, we will have the speaker from DXC, Toastmaster Murugasami, speaking for the topic. Toastmaster Murugasami, over to you. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Dide. Yeah, 
I too uh, personally got uh, impacted uh, very badly due to uh, pandemic situation. Uh, even uh, before pandemic uh, situation, we used to go wherever you want to go. We can go and we can uh, go and meet friends and we can go and meet uh, family relationship, especially parents and all. But uh, once lockdown happened, no? so uh, we were in home only. Means uh, like house arrest. Okay, uh, we are unable to go anywhere. The thing is, uh, I, uh, my hometown is Coimtur. Uh, I'm staying in Chennai. But uh, by the time I was in Chennai, uh, I didn't get chance to travel to my hometown to see my parents. My uh, parents got, my father got injured and he was hospitalized more than two months during January month. But I supposed to go March month then, but all of a sudden that uh, lockdown happened. But even uh, I tried to apply many e-tickets to visit uh, my hometown, but they keep on uh, rejected. Then uh, I got uh, so uh, so much upset. But uh, where uh, by the time I didn't get opportunity to go out, where I get relaxed. Sometimes I used to go to get relaxed. I used to go uh, park or uh, somewhere uh, uh, beach. Uh, but dur during uh, pandemic time, so uh, I was <clears throat> unable to go anywhere. So I just stayed in home only. But during uh, <clears throat> home time, my wife used to ascend some tasks daily. One day she is asking to clean kitchen, one day she is asking to clean bedroom, one day she is asking to clean hall. But uh, even even uh, when I <clears throat> working also, all of a sudden she interrupted and she will ask to uh, do this kind of work. Because I, I used to refuse, okay, I will do all this work once complete my work. But even though she will not accept. But anyway, what I will do, uh, I will... Uh, I switch off uh, my laptop, then I will um, I will go there and do my work and come back. I will again switch on, I do my work. But in uh, during uh, working time, a lot of disturbance, especially my son, uh, uh, he didn't allow to work anything. Even when I when I joined in meeting also, he, he used to come near me and he was looking like this, all these things. Even uh, 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 who were in meeting, you know, uh, the uh, scolded, uh, uh, stop all these things. But uh, next time you will come up with a, a proper plan so uh, so that uh, no, no one uh, don't want to disturb you. So likewise, I got a, a bad experience. Uh, but uh, even uh, because I tried uh, four months also, I didn't get uh, e-ticket to see my parents because I supposed to take my parents to the uh, hospital for the uh, regular health checkup. But uh, I couldn't get time to that. But uh, finally, after six months and now now a month. Uh, that uh, we are uh, allowed to go uh, uh, all the way in India, no? So uh, by the time only I booked the flight ticket from Chennai to Coimbatore. I came down and happily I took my father to the hospital. Yeah, likewise I I I got very much uh, impact impact uh, during the pandemic time. Yeah, thank you. Back to Toastmaster DJ. Thank you, thank you, uh, Toastmaster Murugu Sami for uh, sharing from uh, the foresight. So next up, we have the second speaker from CTM speaking against the topic, guest Iqbal. Guest Iqbal, over to you. Good evening, everyone. And uh, quickly, my apologies for my late uh, uh, joining uh, some internet connectivity issues. I was just not able to get it. Uh, but thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster uh, Ranju, for uh, letting me speak on the topic. And thank you, team CTM, for... Uh, uh, getting me into the topic. So quickly getting into the pandemic has taken a toll on the personal relationships and friends. I think what has taken a big toll here is not uh, the fact that let's not put everything on personal relationships and friendship. This is a human thing to put a blame on something. I think what has taken a toll is our inability to realize that there's something called interpersonal skills, which means before the pandemic, um, I heard uh, uh, just before uh, my speech, uh, I believe it was Rekha, Toastmaster Rekha, who said that what stops you from talking to someone in a very different way, but I'm just kind of rephrasing it. So interpersonal skills have taken a beating, which means I just don't seem to have the ability to pick up my phone, call up someone or schedule a Zoom call and just talk to them. That's what has taken the toll, our inability to actually have the interest to talk. So one thing is the uh, ability to relate to each other. That somehow seems to have taken a huge uh, backseat. And to effectively communicate, it's all about a Zoom call today. As uh, technology, I mean, there was a lot of emphasis on technology also. It's just about a Zoom call, which is absolutely free for 40 minutes. 
So any family members can just schedule a call, talk to each other and go on with it. But our prejudices are still there. Our egos are still there. Who's going to schedule the call? Why should I schedule the call? Why should I be the one to talk all the things? Those prejudices seem to be ruling us. Uh, 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 those prejudices, prejudices seem to be ruling us even uh, when we want to be able to establish a connection. About not meeting friends, relatives, or going out. Well, pandemic has taught me a big lesson, which is this is the best time to train yourself if you have to. This is the best time to create connections with your spouse if you have to. This is the best time to realize there's a world called kitchen if you have to. And if you do all of these things, you will find you'll have a better relationship with everyone around you, uh, pandemic or no pandemic uh, equally. So uh, the, the biggest, uh, the biggest, um, uh, the biggest cost that has come about is the relationship of a husband and wife. Who is the boss in the kitchen now? Who is the boss of the house now? I mean, these things have taken such a huge meaning in this uh, this pandemic. So I conclude by saying, no, it has not. Uh, the pandemic has not taken a toll on the personal relationship, friendship. It is just about our own interpersonal relationship, our own relationship with ourselves and with other people living within our household and outside household. Thank you. Thank you, guest Iqbal. We had like uh, strong arguments from both the for side and against side. And while we are on this stage, now we'll have the concluding session. The first round is over. Now we'll have the concluding session from both the sides. So first up, we will have from the DXC side who is speaking for the topic, Toastmaster Satya, over to you. Thank you, moderator. So first our Toastmaster Bala said stress because of working from home. And I would like to have a few facts associated with that. 16% increased eye infection. 16% of eye increased eye infection. And more than 10% of back pain issues. More than 10% of back pain issues. And Rekha, you rightly said you will have to see the other side of the coin. Great. That's a positive side of it. And you also said that you taken the relationship for granted. So how you realized everything. You will have to go through some phase to realize that, right? We are all humans. We have to be hit with something to realize something. You did not realize it during the March 2020. You did not realize it during the June 2020. It slowly became, life wasn't in a tranquil state all the time. You went through some tough situations, eventually you realized it. So it has taken a toll. You proved it because you eventually realized it means you have taken a toll because of that toll you eventually realized it. And then coming to Toastmaster Murugasamy, who rightly you know, said that as a VP here, also he couldn't uh, even concentrate on allocating the role play for our meetings because his wife is loading up too, too many tasks at home. That was on a lighter note, by the way. But how serious is what his point was? He was talking about a small injury his uh, dad had. He couldn't even visit and support him. Forget about him. There are so many of my friends. Two of my friends couldn't even see the face of their dad. Do you know? All they got was the asti in the hand. During the last moment also, they could not see the face of them because they were not allowed to see it. Can you think of this moment? I, I wish nobody gets it henceforth, but that is a very, very tough moment one should not go through in their life. So that's what he was hinting on by saying house arrest. So guess Iqbal, finally, you said that it was interpersonal skills. Humans always blame others. What if I tell you that my interpersonal skills went down during this pandemic? You know, you told about invent uh, yourself in the kitchen, invent uh, yourself, you know, in improving your interpersonal skills with your wife. I heard all the things even before. Now, what is that you can address for me? Did you play the role of a devil's advocate and realize what a person like me would go through in this pandemic? I heard all these things before. I, I'm saying it with utmost confidence. So I am being a hit here. I, I was taken up for a toll here. My interpersonal skills went down because I was frustrated. I was like stressed so much. I could not talk to them properly. So there is always the other side of the coin, my dear friends. So eventually, I would like to say that we have gone through a toll because of which we realized it. So the question here is whether the pandemic has taken us to a toll. Yes. And then eventually we realized it. So that's the fact. Moderator. Thank you. Thank you from uh, the concluding statements from the fourth side. Now we'll have the concluding statements from the side which is speaking against the topic. Toastmaster Srikant Kutikrishnan, over to you. Thank you, moderator. See, my friend from the other team who had been saying that uh, pandemic has taken a toll is uh, literally forgetting the higher and the greater responsibility that they are shirking off from their shoulders. And they seem to be talking more about discipline because I heard the last speaker say that the eye infection has gone up and back pain has gone up. People not able to meet their near and dear ones. All these are issues which can be 
address and also they need to get discipline first whether there is a pandemic or not they need to have discipline okay having said that let me also agree with this point that human beings are social animals we need to have interaction and whatever interpersonal skill everything is fine i do not deny that but now we are in an unprecedented situation which calls for unprecedented and unusual response from each and every one of us god forbidden it shouldn't happen we are we are staring at a situation which seems to be going out of control and i say again it shouldn't happen so each and every one of you you cannot say see there is a saying that everybody wants to go to heaven but nobody wants to die it seems that it is not going to affect me the pandemic is not going to i i again pray to god it shouldn't affect you but you have a responsibility to overcome the situation by following what the government says of social distancing and not traveling and not meeting people and not having one to one conversation it is for the good of you as well as the people you love but how do i stay away from there i have to see my friends and relatives you have technology which has taken a giant leap see i am able to see each one of you sitting at my home and i pray that we go back to normalcy a vaccine which usually takes 10 to 15 years to develop is now being developed within less than one year because of technology so you have to remember that it is not about all the other things that you speak about it is how you help the world the human community which has to overcome this you have a major role and that major role can be bringing this technology to your advantage see when you want to do everything online what is the problem for the next few months or few years that you are going to be online nothing wrong you are safe your loved ones are safe who is going to risk traveling during a thanksgiving holiday a christmas holiday what happened in the west they traveled and see the consequence this so talk with some kind of a higher responsibility this is my take it is a serious thought that each one of you have to give you have to stay back if there is emergency you need to travel otherwise for the fun of it you cannot travel because we don't know what the consequences would be and the consequences that we have to face is not worth the effort of going and meeting your people and friends online is the solution online is the bringing the whole world together we are now literally living in a small global village thank you back to you sanju thank you thank you uh, both the teams it was a wonderful round of arguments both for and against and we all are really now more enlightened about how covid 19 pandemic has really affected us both sides of the coin has really been revealed now i would like to like uh, just take it to the audience so uh, initially i said the statement and there was a for side and against side to it and now we have more uh, knowledge and information regarding both the side so i will put a small poll the audience can just say which side do you lean more by hearing all these arguments you can either select for or against when i drop the poll yeah it's pretty close uh is there anybody who is left to uh okay so i'll i'll uh, thank you thank you everybody so it was pretty close so i think both sides i am now sharing the polls i i hope it's visible to everyone both sides have done a really good job and uh, the audience has uh, convinced both sides and it's a, it was a very very uh, good debate thank you thank you both the teams for uh, participating and uh, you know really putting the value in this uh, debate so th that brings to an end of this uh, impromptu session uh, so now uh, we'll have a, with our regular session we will have the general evaluation so the general evaluation for today would be done by toastmaster murugu swami so uh, here this is a session in which we uh, take our speakers and we give a feedback which can actually be worked upon and people can come back becoming better next time and we will also be taking a tag team report during this time over to you toast master murugu sir
thank you uh, toastmaster abhi des yeah uh, now uh, we are going to move on uh, next session called uh, evaluation session <coughs> I, i have a powerful person with me to evaluate toastmaster sita to to introduce her and uh, she replied uh, she was president of ctm now we again taken up secretary role uh, which is ending this term by december and she is running her own organization uh, kalpathar consulting coaching people on project management pmp certification and agile certification please help me to welcome toastmaster reka to evaluate toastmaster sitanandam speech thank you very much toastmaster muruga sami um, yeah so let me start by congratulating toastmaster sitananda for taking up your first step into the prepared speech journey and your speech indeed was filled with vigor and your speech was spell bounding or spell binding as like you spoke about your school days so it was indeed like the audience was glued into your speech and also we as audience when we were listening about your school days we went back to our school days recollecting our like um, the days we spent in school and our friends and you created a vivid image about your school days kudos to all, kudos on that well done and also like your speech was sprinkled with subtle humor when you said like um, uh, fees paying fees is sufficient for the uh, the student to pass and then you said like for max even the guide was not helping you so i loved all those uh, like subtle humor and your ending of the speech was very nice when you said owners pride and neighbors envy i know like the tv which your father bought is onira tv so now let us see how the speech can be improved see the main objective of the speech is to introduce yourself you did start telling like where you were born that is your pond uh, that is a pondicherry but for me you are still a boy who has completed his 10th standard who was gifted a tv you never spoke beyond that so i don't know anything about you after your 10th standard so as this objective is to introduce yourself i would uh, recommend you to or suggest you to share about your entire life if not in detail like where were you born your childhood and your studies your passion current job and how you landed up in toastmasters you could have covered the entire thing then i will know you as a whole not just like a 10th standard completed boy right and then the second part of the objective is to learn the basic structure of public speaking see now as you spoke about yourself it's an introduction then you would have either followed a a storytelling mechanism or technique where you would have started like a typically people say that on uh, on a such and such a day a baby was born and that is me and followed with the current or you would have spoken about your current and went backward so you could have either followed a storytelling uh, technique or followed a typical speech structure as opening body and conclusion so to summarize my evaluation on your speech you were en- you were energetic you created a vivid image about your uh, school days you you had a subtle humor the ending was good but stick to the objective understanding what is objective so the objective is to introduce yourself as audience we would love to know the entire story about sita nanda all the best for your next speech back to you general evaluator toastmaster guru guru swami thank you uh, toastmaster rega for your uh, wonderful evaluation about the sitanand speech so next i move on uh, second speech evaluation uh, to evaluate uh, second speech i have viga person with me uh, to introduce him when i ask question uh, what do you think about individual work and united team work so which one is more strength he replied team work is more strength than individual work since it provides good opportunity to to make use of different skilled people together to achieve a common goal please thank you to welcome toastmaster mohan kumar 
to evaluate postmaster ratika speech good evening dear toastmasters and friends and a special good evening to my target speaker today's the speaker is uh, try to present uh, uh, presentation mastery and research and presentation topic i appreciate uh, i appreciate that it's uh, good that you have chosen a research topic which is uh, most uh, suitable to our current uh, emerging world which is uh, bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrency software right so this is the upcoming and emerging uh, trend in this current world also you have uh, asked some questions in the beginning so that truly really helped to that that actually that really helped a more interactive session rather than a yeah, presenting uh, from one side and also uh, once you have since you have asked questions and it is more interactive the speech become uh, you grab the audience attention in a better way like audience audience also very interested to uh, what is uh, uh, curiosity to know what is this bitcoin because uh, many of us not aware of what is bitcoin and uh, the crypt cryptocurrency and the background details and also you have started a, a very basic details that's really i appreciate you because uh, if, if many of the people is not aware we need to start with uh, some basic details so you started uh, some basic details along with some curiosity like uh, the Uh, the person who invented this uh, this one is not disclosed his own uh, name identity right that also very interesting that grabbed uh, that created more curiosity why he uh, not disclosed himself and you also have answered it very well like uh, uh, since uh, there are lot other uh, reasons because this is this bitcoin is uh, all about uh, uh, in another way it is not it is uh, uh, eliminating the third parties even a kind of bank uh, these stuff if you go with the uh, bitcoin it, it's eliminate that's a new information uh, people like me and i hope uh, this is uh, something new to mo most of us uh, in today's audience and uh, uh, that's a really i appreciate the way you presented the speech and the research topic and uh, uh, the content that you delivered right that is uh, very simple and uh, very easy uh, easily it is connected to the audience and people uh, from uh, uh, people who already not aware of these things they can also able to catch up your points what you have delivered today so those things are i really appreciate uh, and also the the quiz part uh, it's i really enjoyed because the quiz part is all about uh, what was bought at the very first time when uh, i mean uh, the first transaction of bitcoin uh, coin is just for buying a pizza right that's a good uh, good quiz and uh, people are also uh, communicated uh, with your uh, speech that i really liked it and i have a few improvements or suggestions here uh, like uh, uh, if you have added uh, some details uh, about this topic some more details about this topic because uh, i feel i felt uh, you, the information that you have shared are something little little less but uh, if you have shared more details uh, that would be really good because uh, all of us uh, are very much interested on this topic uh, the way how you delivered it that also very much uh, uh, appreciated and uh, other other improvement point is uh, you have mentioned some uh, web links but uh, it's not there in your uh, presentation document so if we have provided uh, that uh, web links uh, uh, in the document that would be good and in summarize you tossed your uh, research speech coin very well today uh, by, by when and when uh, considering and applying my recommendations uh, to your next speech uh, your uh, speech would uh, would be in a very different level uh thank you uh, uh, thank you so much uh, over to general evaluator thank you uh, toastmaster mohan kumar for evaluating uh, to toastmaster ratika's speech yeah no uh, <clears throat> we got more information about bitcoins so based on then we will try to move further uh, now uh, we will move on uh, table topic evaluation uh, to evaluate table topic speaker we have two evaluator so one evaluator will evaluate our table topic speaker and another evaluator will evaluate even table topic speaker that our uh, <coughs> table topic speaker sir abirami distinguished toastmaster neha jan toastmaster satya toastmaster murugu sami for uh, even <coughs> table topic speakers distinguished toastmaster gayatri 
ಟೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸತ್ಯರಾಜ್ ಟೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತ್ ಟೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತಿನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟ್ರಿಬಲ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೌ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ವೇಲ್ ಟು ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಯಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜನರಲ್ ಎವಾಲ್ಯೂಯೇಟರ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ with the table topic evaluation i would like to congratulate uh, the table topic master toast master abilash uh, to have the topics uh, that are easy and uh, that anybody can attempt to and he also uh, brought in the topic uh, uh, so that the speaker can speak minimum of uh, one minute so that was well done so let's move on to the uh, table topic speaker one uh, toast master abirami ayyappan Uh, if stealing is to uh, prevent a starving child uh, is it good or wrong right or wrong uh, so uh, she started uh, asking its uh, the question is about existence of life so she started it immediately and she was uh, very confident about the topic and the speech and uh, she had uh, uh, used the hand gestures effectively in this uh, uh, virtual environment it is a bit difficult but uh, she handled it well and even uh, on the topic uh, when it comes comes to end she provided a summary on the things that uh, she spoke uh, so on the improvement part uh, uh, she started the topic really well and then she asked uh, uh, so the topic is this one is it correct or not so uh, since she started really well i think it's better to proceed in that way instead of asking whether the, i am talking on the right topic or not and when it comes to the table top pick number uh, speaker number 3 distinguished toastmaster nina john the unique tradition that you follow for uh, christmas so uh, she picked up the topic immediately i'll share something from my uh, school days so it was really nice uh, what happened uh, during her school days and uh, uh, it the personal story is always uh, good to listen and uh, she used the word of the day very li- nicely so uh, it was uh, in a very apt uh, way and uh, her hand gestures when she want to specify something in quotes uh, she explained it so that was really nice and the improvement part uh, i like the way that uh, she started explaining when uh, how the uh, she celebrated in unique way but uh, when concluding uh, she started sharing some generic things so i would prefer to have uh, listen more about uh, her per- personal uh, unique way of celebration and uh, next about the fifth uh, table topic speaker toastmaster satya uh, if he is the author of a book on how to raise your iq by eating uh, he started it really well and uh, he used uh, hand gestures effectively uh, immediately on the table topic uh, uh, it's always nice to have uh, myths and facts uh, shown on uh, on us so he uh, had shared a lot of myths and facts uh, to us and uh, he handed over to table topic master nicely here is my first copy i am handing over to you so uh, that way he really connected with the topic uh, 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 when handing over uh, but when uh, uh, when it comes to the improvement uh, uh, the topic was to how to raise the iq by eating so he missed that uh, the last point so probably he can listen to the topic uh, uh, better and then he can talk that would be the recommendation and the next one is about uh, the table topic speaker 7 toastmaster murugasamy about new year resolution as and when the topic thrown out uh, he started uh, explaining this is my uh, new year uh, resolution that i want to uh, be the i am the current elected uh, vp education and i want to achieve these uh, things so uh, he was very well prepared uh, for uh, this topic and as well as uh, he said he is already into action for uh, this uh, his new year resolution so that was really nice one improvement that i want to suggest is uh, uh, all all throughout uh, he was talking uh, he was seeing on the uh, screen instead of uh, sometimes he can look at the camera so that uh, it will be uh, uh, we will feel that he is uh, talking to us and uh, one suggestion to all the table topic speaker you can try to use uh, word of the day as much as possible over to your general evaluator thank you uh, toastmaster kumar well for uh, evaluating uh, our uh, table topic speakers uh, and uh, now we, we will move on to evaluate uh, even table topic speaker uh, to call open when i ask the question uh, can you make it success if you do any work with third united team he replied it is not possible to succeed when we are not working as a team toastmaster meeting is a fine example for that thank you uh, please help me to welcome toastmaster balamurugan jodi for evaluating uh, even table topic speaker 
Yeah, thank you, general evaluator, and good evening, dear Toastmasters and guests. My uh, in even um, e even TT speakers, uh, my first TT speaker is uh, DTM Gayatri, and her uh, question was, uh, if you want to teach uh, um, someone, what you want to teach? So uh, about her speech, uh, she uh, made some uh, strategy that um, in her speech, she applied a question and answer and again a question that but that strategy, it was a very well uh, applied. And uh, she, she, she spoke on the topic and it was very relevant. And uh, she was very transparent that uh, she doesn't want to teach any, anyone because uh, uh, it, it's all, it will be all uh, learner's perspective. So every, every learner should uh, learn by their own. Uh, we, we have lots of thing in the world uh, which can be uh, easily grabbed by the learners. Uh, those are the good thing, uh, positive things that I uh, like from uh, DTM Gayatri's speech. And my next to uh, TT speaker is Satya Raj. And the question was, uh, if he get caught in a cricket match uh, by take, uh, by applying um, sick leave, uh, what he will do? So uh, he, he had a good, good, good justification that uh, the ticket price was uh, uh, very high. So uh, he, didn't, he doesn't want to lose that opportunity. Uh, he doesn't want to uh, waste that money uh, because one of his friend uh, didn't come. So he just uh, uh, wanted to see that uh, match. And finally, he also apologized uh, to his boss that uh, please don't mistake me and all so that he, get, he will not get uh, uh, fired from that uh, job. Uh, those those are the good things that I liked, and uh, from uh, Srikant uh, speech uh, in a helpline, if he if he, uh, he if he was uh, waited for more than thirty minutes, then what uh, what is his uh, feelings and how he will approach? Uh, he was clever enough uh, to handle that uh, situation uh, by uh, keeping uh, his cool. Uh, he will be patient uh, until his issue is solved because that phone is was under warranty. But uh, he was also clever uh, that uh, he expressed his feelings and uh, uh, the unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction uh, through his feedback once the uh, job is done. So that, 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 that those are the good strategy that everyone can apply uh, uh, whenever you face that particular uh, situation in your life. And uh, about Prasanti's uh, speech, uh, what made uh, her laugh? Uh, it, it, seemed, it seems like uh, as soon as the uh, table topic master gave the uh, question, uh, she asked, uh, are, you, are you asking about uh, this week? Or, uh, it seems that uh, she, she, she is facing uh, uh, that every day or every week, uh, she sees, this thing, she sees things, uh, 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 I mean, every, every, everything she does is making her laugh. That, that, was, that was my assumption. And uh, it was a funny incident uh, that she shared. And, but I really feel uh, sorry about that guy who uh, fell uh, in uh, drainage uh, due, to, uh, due to her. Yeah. And finally, my uh, um, report on Kumaravel uh, TT speech. It was a real time scenario that every for every meeting uh, we face that uh, situation, uh, many drop dropouts. Uh, but as a people people's president, uh, Kumaravel, uh, he also served as a VP education. So he knows that uh, he understand uh, th that all uh, the people will do, uh, especially during a festival session, uh, we can, we will see many dropouts, but we still, we have the strategy uh, that uh, we can have a TT uh, marathon and we can ask our senior members uh, uh, to do a TT evaluation uh, so that uh, we can fill up the roles and uh, uh, get, we can get some good learning uh, throughout the meetings. And uh, my, uh, I will give a, a common, uh, the summary, uh, the, the improvements area. Uh, the many speakers uh, not use the word of the day. They, they could have used the word of the day uh, inside the speech, uh, wherever uh, it was relevant. And uh, in some speeches, I, I found the, it, there was no structure. They started somewhere and they concluded somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's all from my side. And back to you, uh, gender level waiter. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Balamurugan J for uh, evaluating even table topic speaker. Uh, thank you all the uh, evaluators for making uh, successful evaluation session. Uh, now uh, it's time to hear uh, tag team report. Uh, to submit the report, uh, now I will call uh, timer uh, to submit timer report. 
టోస్ట్ మాస్టర్ లక్ష్మీ నారాయణ థ్యాంక్ యూ జనరల్ ఎవరైతే ఐ విల్ క్విక్లీ షేర్ మై స్క్రీన్ అండ్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ రన్ త్రూ దిస్ టైం టేకెన్ బై ఈచ్ ఓకే ద బిగ్ ద మీటింగ్ స్టార్టెడ్ వెల్ అండ్ హోప్ ఎవరీ కెన్ లిసన్ టు మీ కెన్ యు గెట్ ఇట్ ఓకే ఐ విల్ క్విక్లీ షేర్ ఎక్సెల్ షీట్ ఆఫ్ ద టైం టేకెన్ బై ఈచ్ సో కమింగ్ టు ప్రిపేర్డ్ స్పీచెస్ uh those uh, master uh, sitanandam finished uh, on time like in the 4 to 6 minutes slot it finished by 5 5 minutes 30 seconds tm ritika just exceeded time 7 minutes 39 seconds and coming to uh, uh, table topics sessions we have uh, those master abiram in uh, completing the speech in 1.29 seconds tm those master gayatri in 2.09 seconds uh, minutes uh dm uh, nina john mam by 2 minutes 3 seconds uh, uh, dm satyaraj 1 minute 36 seconds uh, dm uh, satya jayaraman in 2 minutes 48 42 seconds uh, toast master shrikant kutikrishna uh, 2 minutes 28 seconds toast master murugu swami 1 minute 42 seconds guest prashanti 1 uh, uh, minute 8 seconds and toast master kumar vel 1.24 uh, 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 minutes so coming back to uh, evaluation part it's uh, those master reka completed in uh, 3 minutes 19 seconds and those master mohan kumar completed in 3 minutes 58 seconds and tt evaluation it's uh, the first evaluation was 3.54 uh, minutes and the second evaluation was 4.4 uh, minutes 29 seconds so i quickly cover up uh, the uh, debate at the far end uh, uh, um for the covid pandemic has caused a toll on relationship the for us and the against our spot listed here i totally took 17 minutes uh, and 14 seconds to be in this uh, debate uh, and that's all from my side i want to tell you everything uh, sorry to interrupt lakshmi narayan could you change the name uh, for uh, tt evaluation tt evaluators for odd it was uh, kumaravel and uh, even trust me balamurugan ji yeah. thanks thank you yeah sorry about that thanks and for the debate uh, speaker one is uh, bala balaji yeah balaji yeah below one muru swami yeah dxc yeah. thank you uh, toastmaster uh, lakshmi nana for your uh, time yeah. yeah time report uh now i will call upon uh, our counter uh, to submit uh, counter report uh, postmaster kita uh, yeah good evening start. everybody here's the report from me postmaster of the day postmaster ranju has used and so and like multiple times postmaster nadira she was flawless moving on to our speakers our first prepared speaker toastmaster uh, sitanandan was flawless a big round of applause for nadira and toastmaster sitanandan yeah coming to his evaluator toastmaster rekha uh, toastmaster rekha please note this is this includes even the debate so you have used words like a uh, and like multiple times i move on to the next speaker uh, toastmaster pratika also had filler words a uh, actually claimed to be uh, and there was a long pause yeah so these were the filler words that were used by toastmaster ratika and coming to the evaluate evaluation part yeah toastmaster toastmaster mohan Kum- mohan kumar he also had used lot of filler words like and so that actually like uh, it is a kind of i now move on to the table topic session toastmaster abilash the table topic master also had used filler words like so uh, i think toastmaster abirami a table topic speaker also had filler words like a uh, and so uh, moving on to the flawless speakers let's be, uh, give a big round of applause to toastmaster neena john toastmaster uh, shrikant and toastmaster shrikant kuti krishnan they had no filler words moving on to toastmaster satyaraj he also had used 
so and a multiple times. Toastmaster Satya Jayaraman also had filler words like a ah and um. Toastmaster Murugasamy also had filler words like a ah. multiple times. He had used a ah, and that is so ya. Yeah. Toastmaster Prashant had also used filler words like a ah. and uh, Toastmaster Kumaravel also had used words like so what I will you will this is what is but when so that. I know. I now move on to the debate session. Uh, Toastmaster Rekhas, I've already finished. I now move on to Toastmaster Murugasamy. Again, during the debate session, he has used multiple filler words like "ah," "somewhere," "but," "I will," "I will," "to," "likewise." Guest Iqbal also had some filler words like "ah," "I think," "ah," "actually," "I mean." Uh, there were there were also repetitions, prejudice, and the biggest. There were few two. These two words were repeated. Toastmaster Satya also had filler words like so. With this, my report comes to an end. Most of the uh, table topic speakers and the evaluators had used "are" multiple times. So and but were also used most of the time. With this, I come to an end. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Jita, for. Uh, Explain detailed report in our counter. Uh, and now we will call upon Grammarian Postmaster Satya. Thank you. Uh, I'll go really quick. Uh... Speakers who use the word of the day are Toastmaster Murugasamy, Ranju, Kumaravel, Nadira, Distinguished Toastmaster Nina John, Toastmaster Reka, and Toastmaster Abilas used it twice. So if I have missed out anyone, please uh, feel free to drop into the chat box. I I would like to stand corrected. Now going on to the creative usage of languages and some good usage of languages. Toastmaster Ranju, you said uh, commemorate, uh, which is good. Uh, tag is the backbone of the meeting. I have to include this because you appreciated the grammarian here as well, including the tag. So I'm including it. Yeah. And intriguing was used, which means it's provocative. And Toastmaster Kumarivel used the uh, fantastic idiom, fit was proper, uh, fish out of water. And Toastmaster Nadina, you had so many colorful languages today. Soft and velvet, dew drops sliding, glittering like diamonds, um, slowly started wilting while all this while describing the rose. If I have to just customize the quote that was uh, given by you, you made us to see the things the way you saw because of all these colorful languages. Toastmaster Sida, uh, owner's pride and neighbors in view. Wow, I, you made me to go through uh, early 90s for a few seconds. Toastmaster Vratika, uh, can all coins be tossed? The title itself was uh, very good and intriguing. Identity of Satoshi is obscure. You could have simply said unclear, but I like the word obscure. And elucidates, you pronounced it so beautifully, clearly, okay. that itself makes clear. Elucidates means clear. And Toastmaster Abhilash, the topic, was, topic will be reflective. Uh, that was a very nice. Before you giving uh, the topic, you mentioned this point. I liked it. And Toastmaster Abhirami, esteemed guest. That's a nice way of uh, addressing the guest. Esteemed word was good. And distinguished Toastmaster Gayatri, whatever you want to do, only you can do. I was just going through the Google very quickly. Whether is, is it a quote that was already told by someone? No, it was told by distinguished Toastmaster Gayatri today. So I like that quote. Distinguished Toastmaster Nina Jamam, you made my senses to really <laughs> work very <laughs> nice roomy ambassador <laughs> uh, only three people can fit in the front portion of the ambassador car on only that car uh, no other car it's possible so that was a nice way of using it and cold winter pure cold wintry pune air that was very nice and vim vigor and uh, vitality that was absolutely awesome and Srikant koti yeah. krishnan uh, you used the word bombastic that was really good very nicely used and uh, right uh, uh, Place as well, and Toastmaster Rekha spellbound and spellbind. Uh, both of them you used it very nicely. And Toastmaster Morgan, you associated the title in your evaluation, you tossed your research speech that was very nice. And on the improvement side, uh, uh, there were so many connectors, so was used, and uh, there were a few breaking lines. People started saying something but abruptly ended and uh, went on to the next line. And very indeed was used by one of the speakers, which can be just indeed is enough, very indeed is not enough. I mean, very indeed is not required there. And he or she is transparent, is right, he or she is not transparency right so that can be corrected otherwise all over uh, it was fantastic back to the general evaluator uh, thank you uh, toastmaster satya for the uh, grammar and report uh, now i will submit uh, my report uh, my meeting is started on time uh, by toastmaster aishwarya and uh, toastmaster of the day toastmaster ranju uh, he is playing a uh, wonderful role today and he is running the meeting properly <clears throat> toastmaster ablaze uh, he did uh, fabulous 
uh, job in table topic uh, master role and he delivered nine table topics to the role players <coughs> and for uh, prepared speaker uh, both the prepared speaker they delivered their speech in the excellent so everyone enjoyed their speech and for the evaluators uh, everyone uh, the, everyone did wonderful uh, evaluation for the speaker and uh, we, we made successful meeting today and <coughs> Thank you all for making such a full meeting today and everyone enjoyed it. <coughs> Hopefully, going forward, we will arrange similar kind of United meeting again. So we will get more <coughs> information and we will get more connected people and we will enjoy every week. Thank you for giving general level <coughs> opportunity. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, G, for that wonderful round of evaluations. Actually, the evaluation is the core of any meeting. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, launched the polls of uh, various categories. So, uh, like as one of the prepared speaker has crossed the time limit, we have only one uh, speaker. So, we are not launching the poll for the best speaker. We are uh, moving with the best TT speaker. Yeah. So meanwhile, uh, while we on the polls are uh, like uh, co-host, you like uh, as as and when the poll is getting completed, you can please change from one poll to another. Okay. Can we include the TT evaluators also in the best evaluator because they were also evaluators? No, that's my thought. Uh, uh, Ranju, uh, Ranju, for information uh, for evaluation only, Reka Rekamam is eligible for the TT. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we include the TT evaluators also in the voting? Um, co like Abhilash, can we relaunch the evaluators poll once again? Please vote on the others. I will re relaunch the evaluator poll uh, later or uh, at the end of this. Yeah. Thank you. So while we uh, like continue with the polls, uh, I just want to hear from guest Iqbal. What do you think about the theme of the meeting? Anything you want to reflect on uh, the theme? Yeah, sir, actually, we are not able to hear you at the moment. Yeah, while he's coming, uh, so uh yeah yeah can you hear me now? yes yes all right apologies Quickly, can you like share a few words about the theme of the day? Yeah. uh let me just apologize i'm not really aware of the theme of the day because i joined it yeah, late it so united we stand the theme is united we stand absolutely i think uh the theme uh, okay i did see in that uh the jb that was sent to me again um uh, I guess I'm so preoccupied with the topic that was presented to me in the debate. I'm not able to focus on anything else. That's my, uh, that's it. But yes, I think the topic is, uh, it's a very relevant topic in today's uh, the political situation that we have in our country. Uh, the, the entire situation we have in the world that we have to reflect on ourselves as to how we can work best uh, together with each other, knowing the fact that we have inner limitations and exterior limitations. So I think the topic is fantastic. I think uh, it, it's it's a, it's wonderful to be a part of a group uh, who's uh, who's acting less like a group and working more like a team and presenting these thought-provoking topics, so that we can spread this word for those who are not able to join these meetings and and truly be uh, you, know, you know a community, not just a group of people coming together. Talk, be a community uh, that can be very effective in in per, and persuasive. Let me also add the word persuasive in 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 establishing uh, the fact that 
it is all about a unity it is all about a cohesive voice that can enable us rather than disable us in a progress uh, of our, uh, in our own personal progress and the progress of our nation that's it thank you thank you thank you guest ikbal for the wonderful uh, like words like uh, that time i like came to uh, I, i was thinking about this community of our toastmasters so we are all toastmasters so if we see we are all in small small groups but if we see as a whole as a world we are a group of toastmasters and uh, hence i again remember this uh, theme and how beautiful it is united we stand with that i hand over the controls and it was a wonderful hosting as our team out today now i hand over the controls to the presiding officer who will be closing toastmaster guru airapen over to you sir thank you ranju thank you ranju for that uh, intro first of all it was a wonderful meeting uh, it was a wonderful meeting uh, have to have a meeting with uh, dxc two legendary clubs of own because ctm is the first community club and uh, dxc is the first uh, corporate club to be started in tamil nadu so having two clubs come together in a meeting like this is a really a great opportunity for both ctm and uh, dxc to learn about each other members and uh, that way of conducting meetings so with this we'll, it's time for me to get feedback from guest prashanti are you there guest prashanti i think we can proceed okay now it is time for me to declare the results best debate speaker for is toastmaster satya please unmute yourself and give big round of applause for the speakers best debate speaker against this madam toastmaster rekha oh. best role player award goes to <coughs> table topic master abilash best court master award goes to court master nadira best tag team award goes to grammarian satya best evaluator award goes to toastmaster raika best speaker is a toastmaster sitananda and best tech topic speaker award goes to dtm neena jam congratulations all the winners with this i so, urge uh, meeting sorry sorry uh, toastmaster uh, guru sir uh, there is one small change best evaluator is toastmaster kumarave okay best evaluator is toastmaster kumarave tt evaluators deserve that It's a tough job yeah yeah <laughs> i was little disappointed when my name was called upon <laughs> okay okay any all the best for congratulations for the winners i adjourn the meeting to next week let's have an informal meeting now both the clubs i invite everyone for informal meeting